Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is about Monster Hunter Wilds and how it runs and performs on Linux with my specs, which thankfully you don't have to ask, you can find in the description below. Now right off the bat on the main screen, you can see that our poor little guy is, uh, I named him Bob, he's glitching in and out of existence. That's one of the many issues. The main issue unfortunately is the performance of the game so we're gonna actually gonna go in and uh, we are going to go and turn off a frame generation unfortunately it's needed now let's jump into game and I'll show you exactly what the issues are when it comes to overall performance well I'm gonna try see up here we have Mango HUD. It shows you our GPU percentage, our temperature, VRAM, usage, CPU, everything, okay? Our CPU is literally being tortured at 84C, which is problematic. Hopefully it doesn't get any higher. Probably won't. And uh, there's a RAM usage. We're using VKD3D. And now that the yeah. There we go. So we're at about 60 FPS. Okay. Which is not a problem if it wasn't for the constant stuttering. Now the stuttering only happens when I'm recording, which is annoying because it makes it really, really hard to show you things. So let's take a good look around until it stops stuttering. Which I doubt it will. Yeah, see the problem? So, uh, texture streaming seems to be a problem. It seems to be incredibly broken, which is unfortunate. And the high-res texture pack, which we have on, seems to make the problem worse. Now, there's a monster down there I'm supposed to fight, but the problem is it has fur on it. And eventually, over time, its fur starts to glitch out and go crazy to the point where I can't see what I'm fighting. All right, which is a major issue for me. And as you can see, the vertex explosions are already starting. So the longer we stay in game, the worse it gets. But the good news is at least the texture pack is not using that much VRAM. Where's my VRAM? There it is, 10.2 gigs. Now I can limit it to only using 10 gigs exactly, but that could cause issues later on. There we go. I'm starting to vertex explode now. Now, you may be wondering, what about Pyroveil? Well, I want to just iterate this to you real quick. Pyroveil needs to be updated. I've already made a report in the issues. I've already showed multiple scenes from the beginning of the game where it's very easy to test and compare. It is nothing like the benchmark, okay? This build is not the same. And it may show that the hash may be the same, the other stuff may be the same, but this game has way more shaders and way more things going on than that. So try to remember that, okay? So until that gets updated, the game's going to be a tad messy. <sighs> Performance in combat when not recording, believe it or not, is actually pretty good. It tends to stay at a stable 100 FPS with frame generation. Well, you can see that um, currently there's objects disappearing and reappearing the closer you get. So that's also a problem. Uh, I don't know. Let's swing our sword a bit. Now we're not actually fighting anything, but we are getting actually okay performance, which is nice. And it's a lot better performance than I would have gotten on Windows. Windows tends to be a bit unstable when it comes to performance of this game. Okay, was it dead? Great. Had to hit it an extra time to check. I just want to try some stuff here without getting into a fight over there because I don't want to bother with that. I need to find some ore. That's what I want to do. And if we can find some ore, that would make me very, very happy. You know what? Let's take 
the Vertex Explosion King. Okay. Grab you. And I'll grab you. Thank you. Oh, and down we go. Grab that. Look at that. We can already see under the world. Isn't that cool? Now, um, normally, most people would make videos like this about the Linux on the very first day of release. But I decided that it needs to be done. So that's what we're doing. And there's the giant stutter again. This probably is going to lead to a crash. Even though we did not run out of VRAM. We're not even remotely close. We didn't run out of RAM. Our CPU is perfectly fine. Again, I think this all comes down to recording. Because this did not happen when I was not recording. So maybe if I turned it down to medium. Best quality and... Maybe get rid of some options here that would normally make it really good looking. Uh, like look ahead and adaptive and, and apply. Maybe it would be better. But for now, this is the current state of the game. We need to wait for Capcom to update this thing. It doesn't matter what CPU you run, what GPU you run, what you do. There are major issues with the game and honestly no excuse is ever going to fix this issue. The game runs poorly for everyone. It is unoptimized. It has major vertex explosions issues on Linux anyway. And the stuttering, the texture streaming issues, the fact that certain objects off in the distance, as you saw under the world, are not being occluded like they should be, leads to a huge performance degradation and downgrade. Anyway, I hope this video helps somebody. We are completely frozen, by the way, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, leave me a comment on your issues. And also, check in the description. I will link my issue with Pyrovale. Feel free to report your issues if you're on Linux as well.